Hey guys and welcome to our farm. Today we are going to paint. Yes, I love painting. So let me show you a few wee tricks I have up my sleeve for creating the best abstract piece of art. Okay, so abstract art is fantastic because it means you can go crazy and you can do whatever you want, which is the kind of art that I love. So all we need today is some paper, a paper plate to put your, your paints on, acrylic paints, or if you don't have acrylic paints, poster paints will do brilliantly, any colours you want. You can have some pencils again, some markers, some masking tape if you have it. Don't panic if you don't, you'll see why in a wee minute. And a little piece of like an old bit of cardboard or something, okay? I'm just using an old tag from something I bought ages ago. You will also need some water and some tissue. And of course, if you want a brush, but we don't really need a brush, but if you want to use a brush later, you can. So what the first thing we're going to do is make sure our desk is nice and tidy and, and ready. What I have done down here is I've used a bit of um, blood and paper from underneath, just in case any paint goes over to the edge, which it might happen. And if you want to protect your table, always put a sheet of paper down or use a bit of old board or cover it with um, a bin bag or something like that, just to keep your surface clean. Especially if you're using paints, you want to keep the surface nice and clean. Now, also, if you have it, a hairdryer, guys, all right? So if you want to pause the video at any time, you can do that to run out and get all your wee bits and bobs and then come back, hit play, and we'll be here to go again. All right, let's go. First thing we're going to need is some masking tape. So what we're going to do here with the masking tape is we're going to border all four sides. So let me tilt this down so that you can watch me and see what we're at, okay? I love using masking tape because it's so easy to tear like paper. And it's easy to come off and it doesn't tear the paper when it's coming off. So we're going to nice even border. Keep all your wee, your wee sides even with the masking tape, okay? If you need somebody to help you, get someone to help. Now the beauty about the masking tape is you don't need scissors to cut it because masking tape is just sticky paper. So you just tear it like paper. Okay, nice even, take your time with this now because this thing creates a lovely little border for your piece of art. What do you think of my art here behind me here? Do you like it? It's not finished yet, but um, that takes quite a while to do that kind of work. The work that we do here is going to be simple and easy because we only have about 15 minutes to do it. So we're going to keep it quite simple, but you can always work on top of this in your own time and do loads and loads of these as much as you want when this video is over, once you know the techniques and what to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our, our paper plate and we're going to put out a little bit of paint, okay? Not too much and always use, always just try and use three or four colours. If you use too many colours, everything gets very mucky and dirty looking. So try and use colours that will kind of look nice together and match. So I'm using these three colours, okay? Red, yellow, and like a nice raw umber, which is a very nice light brown, and maybe a little bit of white as well. Always include white in your colours if you're using four colours. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our card, and we're going to paint with the card and not the brush. I love doing this. If you don't have a card, you can use your brush, okay? So what we're going to do is, very simply, flatten out the paint a little bit onto the mixing tray which is your paper plate and we're going to get over here and we're going to then work it in all sorts of different directions work it on your page all right you can kind of use the edges to get lines going things like that can you see that okay guys hopefully you can I might pull you closer here so you can see it better hold on Okay, I think that might be better for you guys. Hopefully. So we're going all sorts of different directions. You can also swivel your page around, turn your page around if you want as well. So that's your first color. And you don't have to color in 
cover the whole page with the yellow. You can leave these spaces like what I'm doing. So it's modern art, so it means we don't have to be neat and tidy and perfect with it. We want it to be really, oh yeah, like crazy almost, okay? Now careful with your clothes with this. I always use my painting jumper or sometimes I have an apron that I use. Always make sure you're watching your clothes, but who wears good clothes when you're doing art? I don't anyway. Definitely not, you get them ruined. So I'm gonna go with my next color now. And we're gonna put a wee bit of that out there. Not too much. Less is more. If you use too much paint, it's gonna to take too long for it to dry as well. But that is why we have the hair dryer too. So you want to really spread it out. You wanna work this on top of the yellow now. We're spreading it out. Spread it out as far as we can go with it, okay? Hold your page down so it doesn't move about on you too much. If you have a tape down to the hard surface though, it makes it easier. Usually I have a board to do this on, but I don't have my board today. Now you can see here now that we're really... And then I like to use the edge of it sometimes to scrape. You know, you're getting scrapey lines down it. That makes it really modern. See that? Let me show you just up close. I've got paint all over my ruler here. So you can kind of see there the way it's looking. Okay. And I'm going to go now with a tiny bit of the brown. Not too much because we don't want it to look too dark. So I'm going to use a wee bit of that. It might mix in a little bit with the other colours that you have if you wanted a little bit. And we're going to spread that out. Oh yeah, I like that. Spreading it out. I'm not using as much this time. But play about with it. You might find that you might want to do this a few times. So you have loads of different ones. Oh, I like that. And I'm going to go now with a little bit of white on top of that. Just to see. Oh. Sometimes you have to tap it to get the paint out of it. There we go. We're getting her now. And again, just a little bit here and there. Little bit on. You can see my paint tray there now, the way it's looking. And we're going to get the white on it here now. The white just kind of lightens it down a little bit for you. Especially if it becomes too dark. Sometimes people get very excited and they add too much paint on it and it gets very dark. We're scraping this off as we're going along. Scraping some lines on it. Cross away. Fantastic piece of art this. Look at that. Loving it already. And keep working away at it till it dries there or until you like the way it looks. I think I'm happy with it like that. Let me just show you guys. Look at that. Isn't that super cool? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my hair dryer. So if you need to pause this, pause it. And then go and get your hair dryer and come back. We're going to dry it all so it's nice and dry for the next part, okay? So if you don't like loud noises, close your ears. That's looking pretty dry. So what, what you seen me do there was just tap it with my finger just to see that it's dry and it looks pretty dry to me. So look at that there. Doesn't that look pretty cool? How awesome is that? Now, what we need to do now is take off the tape. We're not finished yet, but I want you to take off the tape anyway. Now, take the tape off very slowly because if you go too fast for the tape, what happens is it tears your paper. 
So you gotta go very, very slowly. If you find that you're working it down like that and it starts to tear, stop and then pick it up from the other side and take the tape off from this side up, okay? Roll up your tape and you're gonna take off all four sides, all right? Oh, see, so you might start to tear there a little bit me, so I'm gonna stop. That can happen, that's okay though. This is when you're a border apart anyway. That's why you want to go slow so you can see it happening. Because if you go fast, you'll tear it and you could tear up all over your artwork. And you don't want that to happen. What's that? So we save that. Nice and slow. Take it all off. Wow, it's not in class, guys. I actually just love it as it is. I love art like that. Modern art is my favourite thing to do. Abstract art. I do it all the time. Because it's more fun. Sometimes you get a wee bit frustrated if you're trying to copy something. Like this painting I have up here. If you're trying to copy something all the time and you're not getting it right, you can get, kind of get a little bit upset. And think, oh, this is no good. But with this kind of art, everybody can do it. Look at that. Isn't it class? Love the wee border. Okay, so what you can do is you can leave it like that if you like it, or what you can do is you can work into it. Before we start working into this, I want you to show you this one that I did before. What do you think of that one? Isn't it pretty cool? So you can splat paint on as well, and then go as crazy as you want. And then you can go over it with colouring pencils and crayons and markers and things. So that's what we can kind of do here. So is I'm going to get a little bit of some of my permanent markers. I'm going to try red. And I'm just going to do a few wee lines going around, up and down like that. Don't take it up to the edge because remember you want your border to stay. You can do all these swirls, whatever you want to do. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. I just like experimenting. Look at that. You go all swirly. Be nice and loose with your pen as well. I like to hold it not too tight and swirl it around like that. Okay, so you can do that as much as you want. I'm just speeding things on here so we don't run out of time. What I would like to do in mine is I love hearts. So I'm going to do a big heart in mine. You can draw anything you want on top of yours. Whatever it is you like, you can do that. Where's my big black pen at? There it is there. Big black marker. I'm going to draw a bit of a heart on it in the middle. You don't have to do it, but I'm going to do it. And I like to do a couple of lines so it doesn't look perfect. Yeah. Remember, we're not going for perfect. We're just going for arty. And when it's arty, it means it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't have to look perfect. I'm getting a thinner pen now on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of maybe do... A few wee stitches around it. I like doing wee stitchy things. Like I've broken heart or something. But you do exactly what you want to do in yours, guys. You could be drawing, um, I don't know, football on it. You could be drawing um, a cool little portrait on it. Whatever it is you want to do, you do what you want to do. You can even write some words on it. Your boyfriend's name or something. <laughs> But guys, look, there you have it. What do you think of that? Do you like? I love it. You could even colour that in all fully if you wanted. You can do whatever you want with it. It's entirely up to you. But that is your piece of modern art. Enjoy. See ya.